all things are for your sake, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. What, what's he speaking of there? That as I enjoy the generosity of God, I too become generous. That I enjoy the blessings of God, I too become the vehicle of his blessing to others. As the blessing of God comes into my life and flows through my life into the lives of others, other people thank God that I ever came their way because I gave them a taste of God. I introduced them to the goodness of God, the generosity of God. What does the waitress think when you put down a wonderful tract about the generous heart of God who gave his only son and you don't leave a decent tip? What does it say to her? You don't believe your own tract. We can afford to be generous. Making friends of the world with the mammon of unrighteousness, it's well worth it to leave a few extra dollars. If by that you'll convince her that what you leave in the track really means something to you. There's a great story about James Gordon Bennett. He was a New York businessman. Owned a, one of the great newspapers there. He had a habit at Christmas time to fill his pocket with various denominations of bills. And at random, he would reach into his pocket and take one out and shake the hands of his employees and give them whatever happened to come out as a little bonus. One day, he stepped into the elevator. The elevator boy greeted him. Good day, Mr. Bennett. Bennett reached into his pocket, pulled out a bill, and squeezed it into the hand of the young elevator boy and said, Merry Christmas, son. He looked at it. It was a hundred dollar bill. Now this was back in the late 1800s. A hundred dollars was a fortune. The young man tried to give it back to him and said, This is too much to give to an elevator boy. And the businessman said, It may be too much for an elevator boy to receive, but it's not too much for James Gordon Bennett to give. They're Christians. When we pray to the Lord, when we ask Him for His mercies, for His blessings, do we take advantage of His generosity? Oh, how God delights in the boldness of faith that takes God at His word and says, Look, if God's willing to give me a son, what will He not give me? To ask great things of a great God. Sometimes I think we ask Him such a little bit, it's like trying to ask for change for a penny, and he says, I'm sorry, I can't break it down that far. Oh, how he wants to bless us. Revel in him. Share him. Enjoy him. You can afford to be generous. You've got more than you can ever imagine. We glorify God by living a generous-hearted life, by laying hold of the generosity of God, by receiving his blessings, and by sharing them with all with whom we need.